Good day everybody! Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Welcome to Sir Chua's Accounting Lessons PH. So for our first lesson, I will introduce to you accounting. So maybe you are in this uh, video because you are a senior high school accountancy business and management student in the ABM strand or you are uh, an accounting major, BS Accountancy, BS Management Accounting, BS Accounting Information System or BS Internal Auditing and you are taking up a basic accounting subject. So I hope that this video will be helpful for you and uh, we will be breaking down the accounting introduction into much more uh, lesser topics so that uh, we will be having a uh, much more and deeper perspective of things in each of our videos okay so our expectation for today at the end of this lesson you should be able to number one you should be able to define accounting and then differentiate bookkeeping and accounting know the different users of accounting information and differentiate financial accounting cost accounting and management accounting which i consider as the three main branches of accounting so some more of the other topics will be discussed in our next videos okay so i think we can start okay so as you can see we have here some different words that are related to accounting so we have decision making recording service activity economic entities quantitative information, classifying, reason choices, summarizing, and interpreting. So, I will give you maybe some of, uh, maybe, konting seconds lang, no? Um, relate these words into accounting so that we will have an idea before we define accounting. Okay, ano kaya ang ibig sabihin nitong mga words na to? What does these words mean and how do these words connect to accounting? So allow me to define with you what accounting is. Accounting is a service activity. Its function is to provide quantitative information primarily financial in nature about economic entities that is intended to be useful in making economic decisions and in making reasoned choices among alternative courses of action. Parang medyo mabigat kung titignan lang natin yung definition in its as it is, di ba? But we will be breaking down this definition in each of the sentences that we see. Okay, first, accounting is a service activity. Accounting, as I've said, or sabi dito sa definition na to, it is a service activity. Which means that para tayong mga doktor na pag nagpa-consult tayo sa doctor, we will be paying them consultation fee. Kailangan natin ng service ng lawyer for some legal services. So, babayaran natin si lawyer para sa services ng lawyer. So, the same way, accountants... Uh, render their services and as accountants, syempre kahit pa paano, we receive a fee for that service. Okay? So, that's why it says that accounting is a service activity. We render service to our clients and then our clients will pay us from that service. Pero bawal tayo mag-advertise. No? Pagdating nyo in your higher accounting, pag-aaralan natin yung ethics, so, uh, bawal tayo mag-advertise. Um, in the future, you'll understand why. Okay. Now, next we have here is, its function is to provide quantitative information. When we say quantitative, syempre, it is something about quantity. It is something about numbers. However, we are not just talking about numbers in accounting. Sabi dito, primarily financial in nature. We are actually talking about money. How much are things in the business? Now, sabi, 
quantitative information that are financial in nature tungkol saan? About economic entities. We are dealing with businesses. But do not limit yourself na businesses lang. Pwede tayong mag-government, pwede non-profit organizations, lahat ng nakikita yung entities outside. Kailangan ng accounting kasi meron tayong financial information that we need to summarize and we need to convey to others so that the owners or the people inside and outside the company can understand the operations of the entity. Now, Sabi natin, accounting is a service activity and nagdi-deal siya with quantitative information which is financial in nature about economic entities. Para saan? It is intended to be useful in making economic decisions. The results of the entity will tell you or the results of the company's operations will tell you kung nalugi ba sila or kumita. No? So, because of the accounting records and the financial reports that can be generated in accounting, nakakagawa yung owner ng company ng decision. Kung kumita ako this period, what shall I strengthen to continue to become profitable? And kung nalugi, what are the things that I should improve so that I will become profitable in the next period? Because of accounting, you are, you are able to make economic decisions. You can be able to make good decisions. Now, finally, making reasoned choices among alternative courses of action. Because accounting helps you to make economic decisions, you can also choose from a lot of alternative courses of action that will be best for the entity. So, accounting is a service activity which can provide you financial information so that the company owners and the people inside and outside of the company can make economic decisions and reason choices among alternative courses of action. Let's now differentiate accounting and bookkeeping. Sometimes, these two words are interchanged. But actually, there is a big difference between bookkeeping and accounting. Accounting is the analysis and interpretation of financial information, conduct of audits, and preparation of financial statements. However, bookkeeping is the routine recording of economic activities, and it is a mechanical process. Let's just put it this way. Bookkeeping is the recording process of accounting. Once you are already done with the recording process, you can now enter into the accounting process. You can analyze and interpret financial information and you can already prepare financial reports that can be used by the owner of the company to make economic decisions. So, in the whole accounting process, we have the recording process. And in that recording process, that is what we call bookkeeping. So always remember, bookkeeping is just a step in accounting. Accounting is the whole process in itself, but bookkeeping is just a part of the accounting process. When we will be talking about journalizing, posting, and trial balance, you'll understand what bookkeeping really means. We have the following users of accounting information. Sabi natin, accounting information can be used by people inside and outside of the entity. Pero para saan? Financial information can help them make decisions. Sino kaya yung mga yon? We can divide them into two. We have internal users of accounting information and we also have external users of accounting information. Internal users of accounting information includes owners, and managers. Let's say for example, etong buwan na ito ay kumita tayo ng 50,000. Sabi sa accounting records, sabi sa financial reports, kumita tayo ng 50,000 pesos. Yung binanggit ko lang kanina, as owner or someone who you are in the management position, you are a manager, you are to decide for the company. Kumita tayo ng 50,000 during this period. 
What shall I do best in order for me to sustain this profit? What shall I strengthen in order for me to be profitable in the future or in the coming weeks, in the coming months, in the coming years? And kung nagkaroon tayo ng pagkalugi, what are the things that I should strengthen? So, or what are the things that we should improve? So, owners and managers are internal users of accounting information because in, the, in its lightest sense, owners and managers are their people inside the company. So they are the decision makers who are very much related to the operations of the entity and thus they need accounting information for them to be able to decide for the best of the entity. On the other hand, we have external users of accounting information. We have prospective owners, creditors, the government, employees, customers, and the general public. These people are the people outside the company, but take note, we have here employees, so we will be dealing with that later. Why are employees outside considered an external user of accounting information? Prospective owners. I want to invest in that company, so I should look in the financial performance of the company if that company is doing good. So, accounting information is used by prospective owners so that they will know if that company is good to invest on. Creditors. Mga nagpapautang. Let, uh, hindi naman natin ma may iwasan. The companies may enter into credit transactions. Kailangan nilang umutang for funds. Ngayon, creditors should look into the financial reports of the entity para maki makita nila yung capability ng company na makabayad or mabayaran sila dun sa inutang sa kanila. Or in the first place, ang iisipin nila dyan is, can this company be able to pay me in the future? So, those financial reports that are being provided by accounting can be very, very helpful for creditors. The government. We actually report to the government as a part of our compliance. Number one, that uh, the number one government agency that we report to is the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Well, we all pay taxes and one of the information that is included in our financial reports is the income that we earn and how much are the taxes that we should pay. Balikan natin muna mamaya yung employees, customers. Even customers are very much curious about the stability of the, of the company that they are transacting with. And lastly, the general public. Well, actually... Financial reports are available for everyone to see. Punta lang kayo ng Securities and Exchange Commission, actually. No, if you have or if you want some examples of financial reports, financial statements, that will be possible. Now, why are employees considered as an external user of accounting information, not an internal user? Well, we don't need to put it very... Um, you don't need to put it on a very light way or we'll take it literally that employees are working inside the office and thus they should be internal users of accounting information well these employees are actually curious also about the stability of the company they are working with and because they are curious about the stability of the company they are working with they also need accounting information now what employees i am referring here into those employees which are in the lower rank which are not owners and which are not managers inside the company that's why they are considered external users of accounting information now relating to these users of accounting information let's discuss the different branches of accounting and this is our last part for this video we have the three main branches of accounting. This is a Venn diagram that will describe the three main branches of accounting. We have financial accounting on the left side, which is reporting meant for the external users of accounting information. We also have management accounting here on the right, which is reporting that is meant for the internal users of accounting information. The overlap between financial accounting and management accounting 
is cost accounting which is meant for the use of both external users of accounting information and internal users of accounting information. Sabi natin kanina, we have two kinds or users of accounting information. We have the internal users and the external users. Now, the external users of accounting information uses financial accounting information. Financial accounting information is more historical kasi nangyari na yung transaction tsaka pa lang natin nire-record eh. And after nating ma-record, sasummarize natin yung mga transactions na nangyari dun sa company and then dun pa lang lalabas yung financial report. Then yung financial report na yun, dun pa lang siya magiging available sa external users of accounting information. However, ang management accounting iba. Management accounting can deal with the past. Management accounting can deal with the present. Management accounting can deal with the future. Ang management accounting kasi is uh, very helpful in decision making. And uh, thus, it is meant for internal users of accounting information. Let's put it this way. Pag financial accounting, let's say for example, ang sales down ng company 500,000. Nakatotal. However, in management accounting, owners and managers will be very curious. Ano ba ang composition ng 500,000 na yan? It can be broken down into the departments of the entity. Department A contributed 100,000 in that sales. Department B contributed 200,000 in that sales. Eh yung ganong pagdedetalye, hindi natin pwedeng ilabas yun kasi kung tutuusin, company secrets yun eh. Diba? Hindi naman company secrets in its uh, deeper sense, no? But um, the details of the sales per department will not really be available to external users of accounting information. Well, just going back, management accounting is more of uh, helping owners and managers to decide. So, management accounting is more detailed and uh, it is it does not only deal with the past like what financial accounting is it also deals with the present and even the future they do forecasts they do budgets budgeted financial statements budgeted financial reports that will guide them in their future operations but why do we have an overlap why do we have cost accounting as the overlap in the venn diagram Cost accounting is actually meant for the use of both external users and internal users of accounting information. But what actually cost accounting is? Cost is a sacrifice. Magkano ba dapat yung parang ganti yan eh? Magkano ba yung nilalabas mong pera para makabili ng mga dapat mong ibenta? Kunyari, simplihan na lang natin. Ikaw ay may sari-sari store. Siyempre, bago ka makapagbenta sa sari-sari store mo, kailangan mo munang bumili ng mga ibebenta mo. Di pupunta ka ngayon sa grocery, di ba? E ngayon, siyempre, papatungan mo ng tubo pag magbebenta ka na, di ba? Yung pinakaunang ginastos mo para makabili ng mga ibebenta mo, yun yung naging sacrifice mo. Yun yung naging cost mo doon. It's a separate subject actually in accounting. no Cost accounting. Ngayon, bakit sabi it's meant for use of both external and internal users? Siyempre, yung ginastos mo to be able for you to buy the things that you will be selling, it's being reported in financial accounting and it's also being reported in management accounting that's why there is an overlap between the two because both financial accounting and management accounting need cost accounting information okay so that's all for today and i hope that you were able to understand our lessons for today please like share and subscribe this is sir Chua's accounting lessons ph i love you thank you